Mango? Mango. Tomate, tomate, bolsada, bolsada por el dólar. They even have a little bag of chili. <laughs> it just explodes. I'm blind for life. Good morning guys, today we're up for an adventure. You can probably never guess but this is actually a bus station and we're looking for the bus to get to our next destination which is Santa Ana, one of the most beautiful places here in El Salvador. But I don't know, it's like a bit of a mess slash shopping center slash bit of everything so we're gonna look for the bus. I don't know where we have to buy tickets but we're gonna find out. These buses look super, super colorful. They're called chicken buses because I don't know why actually they're old American uh, school buses converted into like normal buses. The bus we want to take, like the one I showed you, just left before we could get on. Uh, so probably gonna take the one behind us, which goes almost to the city where we're going and then uh, we're gonna take a transfer there. What a beautiful bus! Look at it! Dos Ordinario por Ayua Chapa. This doesn't fit. <laughs> Really hot and sweaty and loud on this bus. Ah, see, cortes. Cinquenta, dos horas. Cinquenta, dos horas. The heat is killing me, and this is the only blouse I had left. I had zero clean laundry left, except for this, which is not made for 33 degrees weather. It was not a chicken bus. Usually there's also an option to take like a normal bus, but a chicken bus is it's a, it really is an adventure um, because it's, it's, be an adventure. it's basically an old American school bus that they retired here in El Salvador. They gave it all these beautiful little colors. They're known for being super busy and often going over their max capacity. Oh, yeah. We've seen that for ourselves once when we took one in Guatemala. So there's six people on two rows and some people in between. But it was such a cool and fun experience that we just wanted to do it again instead Except of taking like those. Well, as you can see, these uh, chicken buses. Well, I'm not a chicken, as you can see. I don't fit in these uh, in these seats, so it's gonna be pretty tight. And if you think this is tight already, we're just sitting here with two people. And I, if the bus gets full, we'll end up sitting here with three people, possibly four. What you also have in these uh, buses is that there's a lot of vendors trying to sell you stuff. In the 90 seconds that we've been on the bus. Three people have passed by trying to sell our stuff. I resisted really hard. I mean, can't keep buying stuff, it's like crazy. I bought some shifter. <laughs> All these guys get on the bus at a certain stop and then the bus starts driving again and they just try to sell whatever they have and if no one's buying it or if they're sold out they just get off at the next stop and then I think they just take it from there but it's crazy they hop on and off buses all day long and they have sometimes these really smart installations this one guy was trying to sell earbuds and all sorts of stuff for your cell phone like hands-free systems and he made this little hook that he could attach to the bars of the luggage rack that he could just clip it into it. almost like a coat hanger and he could just have his hands free and explain away and it's really smart actually yeah they're really inventive here it's really cool 
So 35 jocotes for the dollar, fresquitos jocotes. I think it's perfect to stay on the bus and get some food. I want it. I want food. I want food. Hello. 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 Sugar oh, or salt? Oh, this is so adorable. And they add that to the packet with the mango. It's really smart, actually. But we don't need that. We just eat fruit the usual way. Sure. We're gonna... Oh, oh, yeah, go for it. If this explodes, I'm blind for life. <sighs> My lady, don't eat a little plastic bag that's in there. It's just it's awesome. Good. Spicy. Oh yeah. Spicy. Spicy mango with sugar on it. That wasn't sugar. No salt. I just took one with like a lot of salt. Trae radio, trae Bluetooth, trae USB, trae micro, trae auxiliar. He's selling. Uh, watches with a built-in camera, he's selling Bluetooth speakers, a uh, bunch of other stuff that I didn't understand, so I mean, this is like a supermarket, this bus. There's always a loud radio and music on this bus. I think it will take us about two hours to get uh, to the first uh, stop where we'll have to transfer. And then it will be another like 15, 20 minutes maybe. So it's going to take us a bit longer than for a scene, but I mean, we get the experience. We're also not taking a direct bus, but it's like the slow bus that literally stops everywhere. But to me, that is part of the adventure. And only costs two dollars per person. So. A really big candy called Big Drum. He handed it out and now he's, asking, now he's telling everyone the price, I think. Did you just say it's for seguridad, for our safety? I don't think so. <laughs> I have a hard time understanding the Spanish here in El Salvador. Like 50 cents for one, two for a dollar. And yeah, he said, said something about like seguridad. Like creamy inside. And mm, makes more sense for a waffle. <laughs> <laughs> you can defend yourself with this big waffle. You can either slap your opponent or have him choke on it. <laughs> Actually, looks like we're in luck. We're passing close by Santa Ana. We're not going through Santa Ana, but maybe like two, three, two, three kilometers from Santa Ana. So I think our best course of action is just to get off here somewhere and then try to take another bus to the center. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do. I think I'm just gonna get the bags now so we can just run off next time he stops. Slapped a few people in the face with the bag, I think. Oh, hitting the bricks. Oh my god. Ooh, that was stressful and difficult getting off that bus. Oh. It was like going full speed and then stopped really hard and I almost fell over. I was trying to film as well, which is not really smart because. I literally 
at the end of what he was speaking about. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> but we made it to somewhere around Santa Ana. We're not in Santa Ana. Going to try to find another bus. Whew. My goodness. Like mountaineering here over yeah. trash and over a sewer. Does this look like a bus stop to you or I don't know? Not really, it's just a shed. I have to pee so bad right now. us off 60 cents for two people what is really nice though about a chicken bus is that if you're hot and i'm really really sweaty right now um it's really really nice because there's usually all the windows are open and there's a huge breeze which is why my hair looks like this the reason we actually are going to santa ana is because santa ana has one of the coolest volcanoes that you can climb in all of El Salvador. It actually has a lake in the middle, in the crater, and you can climb up there. It's supposed to be a bit of a tougher hike, um, but we'll see, but that's why we came here. And that's what we're gonna do tomorrow, actually. It's still a 20 minute walk to our hotel, so uh, I guess it's best to find a taxi. Actually looks a lot like El Salvador, so San Salvador, <laughs> but smaller. Look at the dog. <laughs> There's a dog hanging out of the window. I just missed it to film it. But we're not here for the city of Santa Ana. We're here for our active volcano climb tomorrow. Active we... climbing or active volcano? Both. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Like I'm really out of shape at the moment, so it's gonna be tough. <laughs> The trunk wasn't working, so this was the only way. <laughs> After you! Yes, yes. How is our hostel? Hostel Sole? Está bien con las mochilas? I think they are. Okay. Me cargaba algo aquí abajo. Acabo de poner y se me quedó. Está muy grande. ¿Y está seguro aquí en el centro? Bastante seguro. Es bastante seguro. Hola. 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 And so this is a like obviously but this is also our room <laughs> right as we came in they gave us some hand sanitizer and it was really really like it wasn't very good hand sanitizer I didn't want to touch the camera with it so I couldn't film the entrance process but this is the room double room like included and outside here you have this little courtyard which is actually quite nice very green you have a little table to sit we can do some work here they said if we want you can rent bikes for one dollar so here we have the bathroom we have a little sink we have toilet and a shower what do we pay for this room I think it's $53 for three nights. $53 dollars for three nights, which is about $17 a night, which is pretty it's good. 17, 18 nights. That's pretty good. Very affordable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's actually really nice. Because the room we were previously in, the air conditioning was not working. And that was... First it just made a lot of noise when we showed it to you, but after that it just completely started stopped working and still made noise so this is an avocado from the tree they just brought it to me <laughs> <laughs> it's massive <laughs> here you go <laughs> this is huge <laughs> i know it's not ripe yet i think and now it's time to go fetch our santa ana welcome drink as i have lovingly nicknamed it wow it's super beautiful here the market got the Probably city hall there. You've got the cathedral right here. 
market. I love it. I love the vibe here. This is literally like a two minute walk from our hotel. This is super, super nice. You got loads of food options here. You can buy coffee for 30 cents, hot chocolate for 30 cents, which I really don't want right now, but still. Yes. This is a salad drink. It literally called it that. It was ensalata, but it had fruit in it, so it's sort of a fruit salad drink. It's super sweet, super syrupy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is good. It tastes like very fruity. But like really, really sugary. We're gonna see you in the next video to climb the volcano. Hopefully. <laughs> I think this drink is giving me diabetes. To hopefully climb Instantly. the volcano. See you guys in the morning.